Yo, what's going on, sexy Samulator squad? Right off, make sure to check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash samdadude. And if you have any kind of fan art or anything that you want to send me, I opened a P.O. box. It says it right there where to send it to. And you guys can send me literally anything. Hopefully nothing gross, because that would be fucking gross. Um, anyways, I'm playing Freya. Why am I playing Freya? Because I've played Soul. I've played Oleron. I've played Kronos. And I really just want to, I think, kind of cap off this magical ADC group that I'm doing right now. Uh oh, that's all he. <laughs> well, he scares me. But um, I kind of just want to finish off the magical ADCs that uh, that I've been making videos on, and see, you know, if anything changes. Let's see what kind of mischief we can brew up today. I think I'm just gonna start Bancrofts. Like, it's not good. Uh, I mean, it is not good, huh? I, w I mean, I was going to start it, but it's just not good. Maybe I do this. Trust me, lizard tail and unicorn horn is all we need. Lizard tail and unicorn horn is all we need, huh? You have a special? You don't. It's so weird. Why wouldn't you? Okay, if you have a witch skin, which obviously this is. Why don't you have a special where it's just like super easily riding a broom? There's nothing out there we can't handle. By the way, the reason I started this build is because you get the sustain from uh you get the sustain from the vamp shroud when you hit six procs of it on each wave. And not only that, you get a pretty decent amount of attack speed, I think, from the demonic so i'm i'm pretty comfortable with starting this build obviously i would like bancroft's are you running at me no he's going for the wave okay i didn't see him in the wave for a while there and i was like there's no way you're running to me and letting a whole wave go under tower right oh god he scared me hello okay Well, I did have to blast my beads there. I was a little nervous, but I think it's okay because I have three buffs to his one. That's pretty good for me. What if I just ult him here? Am I dead? No. Oh, Dookie Cheeks. Ah, oh, Dookie Cheeks. That's not good. We died. We died. I altered the wave because I really thought that I could push him out. The help of my wave. But what I forgot was that his ult is bigger than mine. So when I alt the wave, he alts the wave. But he also hits me with the ult too. Because he's got bigger circles. So that's my bad. But Freya's never been a god that you're like, yeah, let's demolish early. I'm not that I'm not that worried. It's all about the late game. With this character. I'm okay. I hope. G Willikers. You do many damages. But so do I, though, actually. Mm. I'm pretty scared here. Never mind, I'm all good now. I was scared, but then he missed. Uh, he is 
going to kill me. Oh, he missed. Okay. Yikes, dude. Yikes. This is such an intense match. I didn't sign up for this. I did not sign up for this. I'm about 200 gold down. It's not terrible. It's not good, but... But I might be able to manage. At least he went bluestone, right? Like, at least he's not going animosity. That's a very positive thing for me. Uh, he probably will steal this buff for me. Never mind. I got it. Okay. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Okay, that was super greedy of you. Oh god, do I live? Okay. He dropped the alt. I really was nervous I wasn't going to live through that alt. But him jumping in like that was super greedy too. So if he got away with that... I would have been upset <laughs> like there's no world in where he should be able to get away with with jumping in aggressively right there uh we go bring a hecate here and then 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 probably go do i want breastplate or not a good question. I think I want breastplate. But I don't know if it's like super, super immediately necessary. Like I think I could wait a bit for it. But maybe I can't. And then if I wait, I die. That's the thing with, with the smite is you have to be so on time with everything. Because if you're like a second late to something... It just snowballs out of control. I'm dead. Oh, damn it, dude. He actually landed the one. And the one did over 200 damage to me. Maybe I do need the immediate breastplate. Uh, I think if this goes super late game, I win. But it's going to be really difficult to get it to late game. Don't know if I'm going to be able to. These fights feel so one-sided right now. But maybe it only feels one-sided because I'm playing bad and that's actually something that I can I can fix. Who knows? My game froze. No? Oh, okay, we're back. I actually will pick this up. He's going Toxic Blade next. Hmm... We actually hit my back line with that with that one. The big bouncy boy. Alright, good poke. Um, I'd be aggressive here, I think. All we got is jump. Is that enough? This red buff isn't... I'm not going to be able to pick it up. Uh, and then next red buff is going to spawn on the right. 
at a very inopportune time for me. I'm gonna have to back here. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab shell. I think I want shell. Your middle tower is under attack. Hopefully, I can meet him at that red quick enough. Okay. Well, there's Zalt. And I actually feel pretty confident that I could still win a fight. Kill here, actually. Okay, dude. Actually, a huge kill. He tried to cheese me by going for the triple bounce on the side there, but I, I mean, I knew about it, so I pre beats it. I played this map too much to fall for the, the cheese of the corridors. Um, and now I'm thinking, what if I just don't go breastplate? What if I instead go more damage to try to, or not even damage, but even just attack speed, to try to push my lead because now I have this red buff for a while. I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. I think it is. He doesn't have any healing right now. Like he's got no life steal. He's got no uh, bracer or anything. But I feel like he eventually will grab an Aussie in the build or even like a Lake Devos or something. So Toxic is going to be good. Alright. I just ulted to kind of push him away. So I could get tower. I didn't actually want to fight. Obviously I lose the fight without my ult so I don't really care about fighting. He's thundered. I'm bad. I gotta run. Never mind. I no longer have to run. Alright. Perfect, dude. Perfect. He ulted incorrectly there and I was able to well not only was the positioning of his ult really bad obviously if he put it a bit further he could have probably killed me locked me in that ult a little bit longer done a lot more damage but he uh he messed up the placement because he messed up the placement I was able to three him walk out of the ult and then continue fighting and we're in a good spot now. No, we are actually in a good spot now. My aesthetic, okay? I was worried this game was going to go bad because I was kind of getting dookied on in the early game, but... Like I said, man, Freya's a late game menace. And we actually, I think... Now that we're four items in with the starter, I think I can officially say, as a level 18 character, that I'm, I am made it to late game. And it should be smooth sailing, I hope. I am hope I'm not jinxing it. <laughs> what if I just get dumpstered now that I said that? That'd be rough. All right. We want the enhanced red buff again, obviously. Now we push. Now we push. I'm not in danger of anything, I don't think. He's level 16. I am going to be 19 after this wave. Yeah, I'm not scared. With Breastplate too, I have so much uh, cooldown to just kind of spam these autos. Okay. I'm standing in front of the minions here because I want them to live as long as possible. All right, perfect. So we, we get the fight. 
it was a little bit of a sticky fight right like i missed a uh, couple autos he was able to get a lot of really good auto trades on me just by backpedaling and then like 180 autoing which mechanically is very impressive so i'm not even mad at it it's actually really cool that he was able to do that um and because of his mechanics he actually almost won the fight but like i said i'm freya it's late game not really much to uh to break down there other than you know i'm the character that i am I wonder if I should go. I wonder if I should even go Ancrofts here. I'm thinking of Telekines, but the extra lifesteal might be nice because he only has 40%. Or 40% anti heal, that is. Or maybe I just say fuck it and I just go Telekines instead of Ancrofts. I mean, Typhons would be nice. Maybe I just say F it and go and sell the Vamp Shroud, actually. I didn't even think about that before. Selling the Vamp Shroud would be nice. All right. Yeah, with Telekines, we, uh, we shred. Our attack speed is so fast now, 2.08. Really can't fight us. Ouch. That was a nice bounce. Look at this. Oh my god. Even with 40% anti-heal and upgraded Sunder, I'm able to just out-auto-trade him. And when I have low HP too. Goodness. So what did we learn here? We learned that Freya's horrible early game. And I mean, I, it's not much. I guess I didn't really need to learn that. I kind of knew that. But she's horrible early game. And if you make it to late game, you win. If you don't make it to late game, I mean, I'm sorry, but you, you knew the consequences. Hey, plus eight MMR. Let's go, dude. I never expect to gain any MMR in this account. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's really all it comes down to is I was a little bit too aggressive early game and it made the game way closer than it had to be. If I just sat back and farmed a bit, we definitely could have just snowballed our way to, to level 20 and, and won the game for free. Um, I also don't think the tele or not the telecans, I'm sorry, the, uh, the toxic blade was a good build. Because he actually didn't go... Oh, he was last item Aussie there. But he didn't even make it there. And I should have known that he was going to go defense. Right? So, like, maybe instead of going Telekines, I should have gone... Demonic. Just giving me pen, because I knew he was going defense and just immediately counter. It probably would have helped me a little bit more. I will admit, though, the extra pen from Toxic Blade is actually felt quite a bit. And the 30% attack speed is unmatched by any other item. Um... Actually, I, I think I'm lying. I think Demonic has 30% attack speed on it now. I think it got buffed. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Whether the Toxic Blade is good enough in this scenario to just kind of like preemptively counter the ant or the lifesteal that he's going to go. Or if you think it would have just been better to go Demonic. I, I think it would have been get better to go Demonic, but I obviously could be wrong. Well, who knows without toxic blade i wouldn't win that last fight would i so you never know with these things i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys peace